you guys welcome back to my channel yes it's Chrissy again so we're gonna jump right into it and do our foundation routine we just um, prime in with some baking oil by makeup revolution then we're gonna jump right into our color correcting that's Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and that's the color medium I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of a few of these dark circles I don't think I'm gonna go through a full 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 coverage glam I'm just you know like my little everyday thing natural so we're just gonna blend it out and I'm using I found that using this brush blends it out a lot better than the sponge and this is the look that we're going for here today so there go the cream stick you guys and I'm gonna use I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I apply it in regular speed and then we'll speed it up just so you can get an idea now this color doesn't necessarily matches me completely but it is close enough and we gonna make her work the color I wanted was out of stock even online it was out of stock Ooh, yeah that's a lot of foundation <laughs> so we just gonna blend those lines out with our brush then sometimes I do like to go back in with a sponge yes you guys don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you get a notification every time I upload you might hear my baby in the background so I'm just blending my little life away right here and now we're gonna go into our contour I'm gonna use a lot of contour so that we can kind of even out the skin tone and that's the Anastasia palette again in the color medium and I don't know how many of you have this, but those in the hollows of my cheek, I have those dark areas and I'm working on them. So I'm just making sure I follow those dark areas. Oh boy, look at this crooked nose here. <laughs> oh, don't mind me, you guys. So what are you guys doing for Easter? Let me know in the comment section what you guys are doing for Easter. Now this part I have to do, honey, because that double chin, she be coming out. We need to get rid of her. So let's go ahead and blend. Blend her little life away. Yes, I speeded this part up so you didn't have to sit there and watch me do it in real time. In real time, it takes about maybe two minutes. Listen, the blending is a workout. So don't feel like you blending too much. Just tap lightly so you don't move the foundation like I did on the other side of my cheek <laughs> and I'm going back in with the sponge just to make sure that it blends nicely with the foundation that I have on see how it's coming together step by step it will be coming together and that is the real techniques beauty sponge that I'm using and we're just gonna go through the nose I just tap very lightly that's why I slowed it down because some of y'all be like wait 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 the videos on Instagram are you doing it hard or are you tapping real hard or real soft tapping really hard I'm, I'm so sorry tapping really soft just to make sure we blend her in so we can snatch that nose baby make sure she look pristine now this is my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, which is one of my all-time faves. I have a bunch of favorites, you guys. So as you can see, I'm doing like the spotlight look, but I'm gonna bring it, wing it out, so to speak, like over my brow and connect it to the nose highlight. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and cover up that mustache. <sighs> Don't you hate when you do something you wasn't supposed to do? Like, look at that. I'm going to fix it all up. No big deal. So let's move through this really quickly. I like to do, uh, there's a method to the madness for me and my routine. And I like to go down the nose first, then the forehead, lips, chin, and then eyes and go right back kind of in that same way 
yes <laughs> sorry got distracted real quick my bad you guys so I'm just gonna blend that up and out and I am moving it just a bit because I want it to really really be focused and concentrated on that spotlight look that I'm going for so that I look kind of sun-kissed it's all All right, you guys. So we're going to zip through this part because you saw how soft I was tapping. I wasn't tapping hard at all. Just, you know, covering up the mustache, blending everything out. Giving the illusion that my chin is smaller than it is. And then I let it sit on the eyes for a while while I blend everything else out so that I get a little bit of extra coverage. Just a little bit. Because with a newborn over here, girl, been tied. I look tied. Now we're going to set that down with the Sasha Buttercup. And I just, you, I barely touched the pan, you guys. Barely touched the pan. And push that into the concealer. I don't bake because I have fine lines. And if you're over the age of 30, you probably have one or two fine lines. So you understand what I mean? And it's hard to keep them from creasing. So while I'm tapping in under my eyes, I make sure to look up as much as I can so that I can push that product over the lines. Now Maybelline Fit Me is going to be used to set the entire face before I go in with blush. It's going to set my contour, my foundation. It's going to melt everything together to make it appear to be one layer when it's actually more than one layer you guys oh she coming together yeah some parts I did speed up just so you didn't have to sit through it for a very long time yes okay so this is hard candies matte finishing spray and I'm just spray I wet my face down like I just got out of a clean shower and there you have it I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You learned something. If you haven't, make sure you comment down below. See you guys soon.